Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. Extended laning phase, but he goes for it from the ability to try to lock down a mobile carries. And guess what? It's Talia and Ash again. They're going to drop Jarvan for Team Cobb. You're going to save him. Yeah, the flash actually coming down. No cocoon. He's going to land, but they're still doing a lot of damage. First blood manages to go to Spirit. He is going to be answered immediately afterwards. Afrika Freak's probably still happy for this. He's not spotted. Nick. Come on, uh, very is most certainly dead. There's the Cataclysm. And uh, Spirit's going to be the one to pick that one up. I believe that was a Spidling auto attack. And that's why you don't walk through the dark. There's the flash. Gets him out of the way. Peanut is in enemy territory right now as Spirit gets over. Just is going to lap up that kill. Yeah. Tucson's just going to make his way through. Wolf's down there, but Spirit is going to get picked off. Bang is going to make his way in. There's a cancelled teleport from a counter strike on the top side of the map as there's the wild growth. Decent damage from Kuro, but he has to try and get himself in there. Good exhaust onto Faker as Kramer finally making his way down, but he gives up on the chase and Kuro just. Sacrifices himself for his support player. It's one pick, but it's not as back and Or is Otara going to get baited in to being taken down? Good double stun comes in, but he can't get out of this cataclysm as Tucson sets himself up. Oh, the wild growth comes in. Glacial Fish is going to get a knock up, but Kuro is going to get the kill with a rift walk. Faker makes his way down, but he gets Kuku. Takes a lot of damage. Marin, double knock up on both of the carries. And Spirit tries to get himself in there. Double kill for Kuro. And you do not want the Cassidy popping off. If you're an SKT fan. The interrupt was Kuntar and actually to step up and be a match winner because he hasn't needed to be for the majority of success. Oh, right now he's trying to as the cocoon is going to go wide. Might mean the death of Marin, but no, it doesn't. Just tear mats him right at the last second and bakes it in perfectly once again. Speed, and they still have CS advantages in all three carries. Wow! Spirit is everywhere on the map right now. Grabs himself another kill. Doesn't even need to repel as he wanders himself out. And this is why he has more than... Is skating around towards the bottom side of the map. Bang sort of out on his own as Peanut is going to get stunned by the concussive blows. That's the jungler and he's dead through the wild growth as well. So big cooldowns as Kramer gets bursted out by Faker. Wants to get himself out of the way but it's a good redemption to get the health bars back from now. And an infernal Drake Papa Smith. This that's is going uh, down very quickly. Oh yeah, Kramer as well has got a lot of damage and that's the secure as Untara now a little bit further forward than he otherwise wants to be. Okay, Cocoon is going to land from Spirit there. Try and take this one away, but Spirit is going to smite at Marin, looking for the Cataclysm right on top of everyone as there's the double knockup. They're looking for Atara. Does get a decent snap, but what the heck was that? So much damage coming at us now. Kuro's going to jump on Wolf. Good arrow, but Kuro doesn't care. Bang now. It's just so many kills in a row for this Cassidy who's just getting rip walk after rip walk. Peanut in trouble. Yeah, that's going to be the Fender Storm, and that'll do it. And now Freaka looking for the base, but they don't have a minion wave, and that's actually getting stopped by the minions further forward. Baker getting some follow up kills here is the goal, but remember that it sounds like another organization like that. Phenomenal break will comes out of Tucson, who's been having the series of his life teleport in from Marin. They're looking for the flank, and he's right on top of Bang. If he wants it, Kramer's going to get that kill, and it's like you said before, Papa Smitty, killing fields for a freak of freaks. Four easy ones, fake of the last man standing, but not for long. Phenomenal shove you have to throw in, but that's the ace, and that is going to be the game for the Afrika Freaks and the 2-0. This is the week that SKT fans will want to forget. They'll probably make it to Worlds, they'll probably make it far in Worlds, but in this week, on the 15th of July, SK Telecom are 2-0 twice. I don't know if they have the right read on the meta. The Antara win streak is gone. The blank win streak is gone, and a Freak of Freaks outplayed them pretty considerably. And today, drafting concerns that a lot of people said about the earlier series this week, I think those...